hello my beautiful friends so um today is the beginning of week two and i came home from work took a shower tomorrow i get to go um see ariana grande which is super exciting and um, i was just reading a little bit um well some chicken cooks tonight we're gonna have zucchini and um like alfredo chicken stuff so I hope it's good. Um, I'm hoping that some of these recipes that I'm making end up being actually good so that I can do videos on them and share them with you guys if any of you are interested in trying keto. So I'm um, waiting for the chicken to cook. Hopefully it should be done a little bit before my husband gets home from work. And then I will uh, make the sauce, cook up the zucchini, and we'll be good to go. I did feel a little snacky, but I wasn't like hungry. I just wanted something salty in my mouth. So I just had a um, cup, like a half a cup of bone broth. So we will um, just see how that goes. So here is the finished product of the meal I told you guys about earlier. I baked the chicken in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. I made um, like a cream, garlic cream sauce, um, just at home with some Parmesan, heavy cream and butter. And then these are um, just a few zucchinis pan fried with um, olive oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. Hi guys, I'm closing out my night with a little bit of dessert. This is the Enlightened Ice Cream brand. I got it in the flavor brownies and cookie dough and it's 100 calories per serving. Um, pretty high in protein and pretty high in net carbs actually. A serving is eight net carbs, but I had about 14 um, left in my like macros for the day so I could fit it in and I won't go over on anything else and yeah I'm excited to try it. So update that ice cream was incredible. I was telling my husband that it tastes like one of my favorite um, ice creams. It's like the Edie's double barrel double churned ice cream um, that's brownie batter and it tasted pretty much just like it. Obviously the brownie chunks are a little bit smaller but I really liked it and it wasn't hard like I wanted to obviously eat the whole pint but it wasn't hard to stop because of how rich and creamy it actually ended up being so um, in my opinion it's worth the cost six dollars for a pint of ice cream is a little bit of a lot but I think that for what it is and how good it actually tastes and how easy it was to not have to like make my own dessert tonight I definitely recommend. Hi guys, so I know I'm a little glam right now, um, but I was just trying to think of what I wanted to make for dinner. I am going to the Ariana Grande concert tonight with my husband and I know I'm gonna get hungry and I'm not gonna be able to eat whatever food they have there, so I just wanna pay those um, arena prices. So I think I'm gonna make a few broths and maybe have um, kind of like what I had the other day with just like some pork rinds and some spinach artichoke dip the broads and um, I don't know, maybe some cucumbers or something, but I will keep you posted on what I eat. And I am having a Truly in the pineapple flavor and these are two nut carbs per um, serving. Hello, um, don't mind my chest. I got a little burnt. I took the day off today and I was sitting outside reading and I um, accidentally got a little crispy. So hopefully this will calm down a little bit and turn tan. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys um, the muffins that I made for like a brunch lunch today and they were actually husband approved. So. so don't mind the weird looking pan, it's like dirty obviously, but um, these muffins were, were super easy to make. I used um, coconut flour, eggs, cream cheese, cheese, and um, salt, pepper, and then I put bacon in there. So they worked out really well. They're like biscuit texture, like they literally felt like bread they tasted like bread you can even see in here like the little crumbs but they were super easy to make um they baked at 350 for 18 minutes i'll put the um, recipe down below but if you guys are in need of a quick keto friendly or even just low carb healthier um, breakfast option these little egg cups are definitely um something to try hi guys um so today is monday and it is 9 27 i go into work at 10 on mondays 
So I thought that I would just have you guys watch me prepare my lunch. And I'm also gonna be trying um, a new thing this week, at least for like the next five days. Um, I'm gonna be adding an apple cider vinegar drink every morning, just because um, I feel like either I'm, I don't know, I'm just feeling like either keto's not working or I'm too impatient, but I did a lot of research and it turns out that that can help speed up um, like the fat burning process and all of that. And I do think, I regret not taking measurements because I feel like I would have seen, um, like having those numbers would have been a lot more of a result to look at than um, like weight, like numbers on the scale and stuff. So, um, all right. So for this drink, you're gonna need a couple things. Um, I'm gonna be using a whole glass of water. I like my water really cold, so I grabbed it from the fridge. Um, you're also gonna want some apple cider vinegar with the mother. So this is the one that I'm using and um, it really doesn't matter what kind you use, but make sure you shake it up so that you get all of that stuff incorporated. Um, and you're gonna use two tablespoons of that. And then um, the recipe does call for lemon, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna be using about whole lime and hopefully that'll still work. <laughs> Look at my sunburn. Um, so, and then with that, I'm gonna add just a couple like twists of this pink Himalayan salt. I got mine at Trader Joe's, I think, yeah. Um, and then finally, to make it a little bit sweet and a little bit more palatable, um, I am gonna add a couple drops of liquid stevia to, um, I don't know, hopefully make it taste a little bit better. So here we go. ground cinnamon into it but I'm gonna try it first and if I feel like it needs that little hint of cinnamon I will definitely be adding it wow my sunburn is not cute I mean it's not horrible I don't like love it I'm gonna drink this while I get my lunch ready and then um catch up with you guys in a little bit okay so I'm doing about 60 grams of the salad mix I'm gonna zero that out again and I'm gonna turn it over to ounces so that I can get my chicken um, counted out and I just got a rotisserie chicken and um, took it apart and so I'm gonna be using just some of those pieces <music> ounces oh. I'm gonna zero that out again I'm gonna do a serving of cucumbers although maybe I'm just gonna do like four slices of cucumbers and I'm gonna cut them actually perfect just for some added crunch and texture and then I'm gonna add just a few tomatoes since they are a little bit higher in carbs perfect and then finally I'm gonna put a hard boiled egg, which if you guys don't know this, a good tip to keep them like fresh is to put them in a Tupperware container that has um, a little bit of water in it. All right, and I'm just gonna slice up my egg. And it's kind of gonna be like a cob salad a little bit, but. Maybe I'll cut it again. I feel like I should have used a bigger Tupperware container. That's okay. 
Um, so I use the Hidden Valley Ranch. I know that the macros aren't the best since there are um, added sugars and it is two grams per um, serving. However, two tablespoons I feel is more than enough for me. So I really don't mind all that much. And there are better options out there. So if you aren't more like budget conscious and you have the money to spend on $7 dressings, you totally can. So here is a simple swap for a real pizza, which is what Adam's gonna be having tonight. I made my own Anna Joseph's pita bread with some um, mozzarella cheese and pepperoni and tomato sauce that was low carb that I found at Aldi and I did add just like a little dollops of um, pesto. So it should be really good and it'll satisfy the craving that I have from seeing this beautiful thing. Hello, welcome to my new hair. Um, so I hope you guys watched the video on this hair transformation. If you didn't, you better do it. Um, but I just wanted to come and really quickly wrap up week two. So this week I lost another like 3.7 ish pounds, bringing my total to just under 10 pounds for the two weeks, which I think is wild. Never have I done anything where I've dropped that much weight in a week. Um, so, oof. so I am definitely sticking with it. I'm going to be going to New Jersey for my sister-in-law's um, 21st birthday this weekend. So I'm not entirely sure how much I'll be able to like track and how well I'll be able to stick to it. But obviously it's all a process and one weekend won't throw me off track. And I plan to stick to it as much as I can. I just know that we're going to be going out to dinner that night and I don't want to like, I don't know, not indulge and not have fun and um obviously it's her 21st birthday so we're gonna be having mimosas and all that kind of stuff so that said um this weekend will be a challenge for sure um i just wanted to yeah quickly recap everything i'm liking keto honestly it's not bad i don't really miss a whole lot i think it's just having to track food that really um really sucks sometimes but um all things considered i am happy and i'm happy with how i'm looking and how i'm feeling so i definitely do recommend and now there's only two more weeks to go to get to the final results and then obviously i honestly might continue doing it just to see um since it is getting me places with my weight loss and um if it continues to do so for the next two weeks then i will definitely stick with it because i have a lot of weight I want to lose um and then I'll try and vlog a little bit of this trip I guess that would be kind of fun to follow along with us um going to New Jersey for the week and yeah or the weekend just the weekend but yeah thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next week bye <laughs>